and welcome back. So I've been trying to create portals and I, I can get, you know, okay portals um, that look pretty good. They can do the teleport and, you know, they, they look good, but they're, they're not seamless. They're just not seamless. Um, and by seamless, I mean, that is seamless. I mean, it's it's portals have a uh, recursion amount where they can recursively render portal views inside the last render target. So, you know, when you stick two mirrors facing each other, you see a depth to it that isn't there. And you can't, I have not been able to find any way to do that in um, using the method that I have. Um, I didn't make the method that I have. Someone else made it. Um, you know, it's it's decent, but it's not seamless. Seamless is just incredible. All right, so I'll pick one of these up. Here, it's like systems in place to track and duplicate actors where needed and simulate physics. All right. Oh, that is the same one. It's Ah, when you when you back away from it, it disables it. So that's just one cube. It's just falling infinitely until I back away. Just oh, let's let's throw in another one. Oops. They and they interact with each other. Like let's let's throw in a whole bunch of them. They just they they interact with each other. So yeah, that's just you know three cubes falling infinitely. See, just just three cubes. Oh, you want me to jump in? Uh, that that was unexpected. I'll fall down. Uh, so let's try. It. Oh no, it does not want me in there. Uh, I think whoever coded this put in a. a <laughs> A thing to prevent people from jumping in that one, but let's go in this one. Um, I, I'm getting closer, aren't I? Oh, wait, no, there it is. Uh, what about this one? Ah, oh, just go through the sky. Oh, it even oriented me correctly. All right, let's see. Infinite falling. Let's go for this one. That's that's just one cube. That's the same cube falling infinitely. Uh, warning: This next part might trigger seizures. So if you're prone to seizures, please look away because I'm going to jump and this is going to be flashing black and white really fast. See, those are the two that I left behind. Oh, oh, that's okay. I gotta stop that. <laughs> All right, so that was the infinite falling, and here's where it gets super creepy. Infinite stairs. Oh, oh, hey, wait, wait. Oh, there it is. There's a ball. That's the same ball that I'm holding up there and down there. Can you see where the portal is? I can't. I have no idea where the, well actually, maybe I do. I think it might be right, right here. Yep. You can see a very faint um only like where the shadows are because the shadows don't quite match up between them because of the different light sources but dang is that good i would have never noticed that if i wasn't seriously looking for it okay yeah i, I would have noticed that but i didn't i never would have thought that that was where the portal was I just thought 
you know, when they made it, they didn't line it up correctly. But that is from the, the transition of the shadows. But let's let's throw the ball down the stairs. Oh, um, yeah, let's kick the ball. Um, go right click and throw. Uh, no, come, come, come here, come here, come here, come here. Right click and throw. Oh man, I'm terrible at throwing. Go down there. Go. The ball just. Uh, I I can't get rid of all these balls. They just they they just keep coming. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, this is the portal, like the type of portal that I am trying to create, but I cannot find any documentation, any p tutorials on how to make it this seamless. Like, I, I just can't find any information on it. All right. This was originally in a game from, I don't know, 2006? And, like, no one has done it since. Like, no one's made a game with this in it. Which I don't know why, because it's, it's awesome. <laughs> I mean, it's, this is, I, I mean, this is really super trippy. The, the ball just keeps on going, because I'm in a corner. <laughs> uh, but no one's done it. Now this, I found a copy of this, which was made in like 2017. I tried using the automatic conversion to the new game engine, and it just doesn't work. Like it, it won't compile, because this is not using the new blueprint system. This is using C++ code, uh, and it just does not compile under the Unreal Engine 5. Which I'm using, I'm definitely going to be using Unreal Engine 5 because I need that for other stuff. So, what I'm going to, have to do is read through the C code and see if I can create a uh, blueprint from it. Uh, I've looked over it a little bit and it looks like I can. Like, I haven't seen anything so far that just isn't able to be used in a blueprint. Um, Luckily, I know how to read code. Don't really know how to write it anymore. It's been, you know, 20 years since I've written code. Um, but I can still read it. And it translates very easily into blueprints so far. Um, so I haven't seen anything that I can't just translate over. But man, that seamlessness is absolutely incredible. And it just keeps on going. I can't believe it. I mean, you can see from one side to the other, that's how long this entire thing is. It just goes around the corner. That's it. It's just this one little strip with a portal here and a portal there to create infinite stairs. Um, I'm going to try really hard to get this in my game because this is incredible. Uh, if I can get this in a first-person shooter and people can use their own portals and everyone can share the portals, uh, it might be a little bit laggy, but, pe I mean, come on. This is 2022. I mean, people have better gaming rigs than they used to. Um, so, I, I'm going to try to translate C++ code into a blueprint. Yeah, wish me luck. <laughs> 